third rate review is filmed in front of a live studio audience. <laughs> Can you tell who it is? The Joker. So, this is the Heath Ledger Joker Heath from Ledger. the Batman, uh, the Dark Knight, Nolan's. Oh, Nolan's. Oh. And I moved the light. It's from In Art. Oh, there we go. Oh. Oh. That's the In Art thing that tells you it's authentic. The foam padding. And that's wow. Heath Ledger. Originally, oh wow, that's pretty. It's pretty. Yeah, look. So there's actually two versions of. Wow. 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 That is amazing. It's the first time I actually look seeing myself too. Look at that. It's awesome. Look at that. Did they get the color of the clothing? Look at that sculpt in that face. Look at those eyes. Yes. Oh my God. Effect. Yeah. Wow. So yeah, so there's different versions of this guy. Uh, there's the standard version, the the two two ones version. The one that's two is now about fifteen hundred dollars on eBay usually. Wow. Yeah. This one goes between six hundred or eight hundred dollars just for this one alone. Mm -hmm. I got a deal on it. I, I was able to haggle the guy down to like. You're haggling. <laughs> I haggle the guy. To about 550. Wow. Um, and only because he lives here in New York, so he gave it, these are the hands. He's like, I don't, know, I don't want to take it all out, but these are the hands specifically. Just like Naruto, okay. he has different hands. You can see my dog. Don't, don't. He wants to bite it. No, because <laughs> he thinks it's for him. Okay, you want to be part of it, buddy? Okay, there you go. So, <laughs> I'll let him bite it. Oh wow. Yeah. But yeah, look at the clothing. Wow. Down to every detail. On yeah. The... There's a button missing, but I wonder if that's part of it or... But, oh, wow. I mean, even the stand, like he stands, like... Like he has the, like, the hunchback stand that uh, yes. he had during the, during the movie. Can his head move? Yeah, see? Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's magnetic, so you can just like... Yeah, that coat is beautiful. It's like suede. Yeah, I mean, uh, look at look at the chain. You see this chain? Ah. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. They they capture the evil look. I know it's amazing. The hair, the hair. I mean, they, oh, so all the sculpts, the other ones that they have like two. Mm -hmm. um, and here comes another guy again. Uh, that one, <laughs> they uh, has like real hair in, some, in the other two oh. versions, which mm. is also why it tends to be the more expensive one because it has a different sculpts. Yes, yeah. but uh, I'm, I'm, I was just looking for this one. I really wanted this one, and I, I was like, I have to get it before they're all mm -hmm. or all gone, and they won't make them again. Um, mm -hmm. But yes. even he has this little tie here. I wonder if it, you know, it goes all the way around the vest. It has this. I mean, this is an amazing figure. That's just amazing quality. We can take up one of his hands. Yeah, so the hands are also magnetic. Ugh. So there you okay. go. So then you can put in like, and then you can put in like, oh. So they can be a little tough. There we go. And then the other hand, he would have, uh, there has to be other accessories in the box that I haven't pulled out. Okay, there we go. And then I thought he was supposed to move his eyes, but I guess this is not the head sculpt. There's a different health sculpt. Oh, there, there we go. Huh. So the head, it comes out in the back like this. It's a little joystick and look, okay, so he can move his eyes. Oh, yes, the eyes. Oh, wow, that's creepy. It's creepy, right? Oh, okay, he's looking at you. <laughs> yeah, right? Weird. That is, is kind of creepy. Nah, uh uh, I do not want mm -hmm. <laughs> that is That is creepy, awesome for sure. I don't know, like I, like I said, I spent those 550 for it. But I want to say it's totally worth it. <laughs> it is worth say. it. Yeah, it's worth it to me. Maybe Can you can... check his socks. Look at his socks. Oh, yeah, socks for that, right? Yeah. It is amazing detail. Yes. And then he's running. Like I said, there might be more accessories in the box. Here. So, 
So, right? So that's what we saw when we opened it. I was yes. like, yeah, let's take everything out. But if you... Ugh. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> What's so, that? Anybody who gets this, remember to open everything up. Wait, I think it's a... It's magnet? A, yeah, it is. It is magnetized. That's why it's... Yeah, okay. So it's magnetized. Huh. So it makes it easier for him to stand. Oh, look at that. Let me put this for a second. Oh. Yeah, magnetic. Let me remove it. Okay, so that's great. That's amazing. I'm so glad I, uh, I risked financial financial bankruptcy for this. I'm glad that I make horrible financial decisions. And, uh, and you got it. And so should everybody who's watching this video too. Make fi horrible financial decisions no matter what. <laughs> you gotta put your house uh, for mortgage uh, to buy this figure, go for it. Starve your baby. Yeah, starve your baby, <laughs> sell your car. Whatever you may need to do, just, just go and do it and, and buy this. But all right, well, time to end this one. Thanks again, thank you. And uh, see you all later. Bye. The first accessories we're going to look at are the hands. Remember, they're all magnetized, so you will be able to take them out and reattach them easily. We have the right hand for the large gun, the left hand to hold the playing card, the right hand for the knife, left hand, unsure about this one, right hand to pull grenade string, like in the film, the left hand to hold jacket open showing the grenades, the right hand for the handgun, and the left hand is a closed fist. These are the longer creepier hands. They attach at the forearm section. You can actually detach the other forearms from the figure as well. I just didn't want to do it because this is my personal figure and I don't want to mess with it too much. If I get a second one, I probably will replace these and put a video up. These are the weapon accessories. Joker comes with a large gun, a handgun, handcuffs, which are actually real metal, knife that retracts, and the grenades. Be very careful with the grenades. I accidentally snapped one from the string while I was trying to pose it. They're very fragile. They also get tangled up a lot. So I would suggest just, if you're going to pose it with it, be very careful or leave them in the box, which is what I'm doing now. These are the extra accessories that I wasn't expecting, but I got. You have the playing cards, not 52, but enough to get you posing, and the stacks of $100 bills. The crazy thing about it is that they are actually individual $100 bills stacked, made out of paper. That's insane. The amount of quality and detail that's gone into this figure is just, again, insane. Here you see the base of the toy. It is magnetized, so when you Try to post the joker on top of it, he'll attach real nicely. Still, you have to be careful because he does tend to tumble down if not properly stood up. And as you can see here, under the base, you have the writing of the Dark Knight trilogy, the company in art, and the name of the figure, which is the joker. Great detail. Okay, so here it is. All in all, this is an amazing figure, if you already couldn't tell. Unfortunately, I never knew of it during the initial release, so I had to pay the scalper prices. Yet, still, I'm not sorry I did. In fact, I'm thinking of buying the deluxe version. Likeness to the character, this means how much does the figure actually look like the person that it's trying to represent. If it weren't for the additional rooted he head version, this would receive a solid, absolute 5. But because the rooted version does exist, I'll give this one a 4.7. Still, the face sculpting is top notch and I do not believe there's a better figure out there. For the value, well, if you bought this when it first came out, you're extremely lucky and completely worth every penny, a top 5. Now, in the aftermarket at the inflated prices, that's gonna be up to you. I seriously believe this figure is worth the asking price of $550 that I pay for it, but that's for me. Accessories, 5 for the standard version. I'm not sure what else they could have given us. Craftsmanship, 4.9. Why 4.9? Those damn grenades! You have to be careful! Other than that, everything is top notch. The Joker, a combined rating of 4.9. Go buy it!
That's it. <laughs>